Hey everybody, we're here. My coffee mug, look, my coffee's in frame. <laughs> so I hope everybody is having a good Saturday. I'm awake, I'm in my studio, I've got my pencils, I've got my coffee. Um, I'm kind of ready to jump in. I'm like, I'm tired this morning. Like, I've got a dragon. So it's one of those mornings, slowly getting up, slowly getting into the uh, swing of things, which was an adventure considering I had to move the studio to be down here. But, you know, we're here. We're doing it. And I just realized I did something I should have done. I changed my, oh, sorry, wrong button. How do I get back? There we are. I changed my lighting just a hair on my camera. I'm like, wait a minute, we're recording this and that's going to create a mess in the post. That's not fixed. We'll keep it the same. Makes editing a lot easier. But anyway, we're here. I'm uh, going to be working some more on these beautiful fish in Lost Ocean. I'm Eliza Beth. This is Grace and Lotties. Coming to you live on Twitch and YouTube. Um, we're going to be in Lost Ocean today. Working on these beautiful fish. I'm going to be using the tritones more today. I know we did just like the little bit, bit of a tease out here on those little barnacles. As it works in, we're going to be using more and more and more. So it's coming. <laughs> like... The interiors here will use them. So you see all of this right here. We'll have those as well. So they're gonna keep reappearing, I guess is the uh, moral of the story with this. So, no, it's coming. It's, <laughs> it's a little slow getting started, but we will get there. Gonna finish out here on these first today. Then we'll move in. been my idea for this whole piece is just slowly working inward to the fish and the fish are the focal of all of this and they're going to be in these oranges right here you can see my puppy and flame they're ready to go these and so, but in doing this I'm going to be kind of showing how you work with these pencils because they do they behave just a little bit differently I'll show you a picture to you for those of you who might be new this picture was done using solely tritones. So just kind of give you an idea what they can do. Uh, so you see in the fur, they are getting all the fun little color variations in. That was only two pencils on the uh, wombats there. And then using the purple there with the pinks and things coming out. Lots of fun working with the uh, tritones on this. So, hello! Thank you for the thumbs up. You are going to be coloring some more today. I thought I was going to be working on an unboxing project, but it ended up not taking that long. And uh, that video is going live tomorrow, like edited. So, filmed and edited in less than a week. So, I think that is a pretty good turnaround, pretty fast there. Okay, stream had a hiccup. Looks like we're back up. Welcome to the world of streaming. We're reconnected. Everything looks good. YouTube like actually reconnected too, so that's good. Right here. So yeah, still asking. We'll put it up as a poll. I can do other things while I'm waiting. Okay. 
Okay, there, we got a poll going up for YouTube, so you guys can vote. Let me know what you think right there. Let me go figure this out, because I'm kind of torn. Like, could also create some interesting things with the Statlers, which I don't know how they got the color that they show on the box with these pencils because they do not lay down that much color. But they could do some interesting things. I have found some uses for them. And to be completely honest, they feel incredible in your hand. Like, just voted, lol. I love everything, which one is my favorite. <laughs> I get that. So. It's one of those hard, it's, it's such a hard call to just, uh, to say, do I want to use all of them? Do I want to, uh, yeah, I get as, you know, that and I'm a rule follower. <laughs> so if I set a rule, I tend to follow it. Still deciding what we're gonna do. These two colors are just. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and get them prepped. They are just so. They work well. And I'll, here, let's swatch them. We'll swatch them real quick and we can kind of show how they play in with all of these. Because that's the whole reason I got them. So we've got. This one is the uh, just literally titled blue green. I keep always wanting to think it has a. There's a color more. Then you've got this one, which I remember seeing Peta Hughes these days. This is cobalt turquoise and uh, cobalt green. So you just see how this one's just a little more blue, but how it plays so nicely in there. And then we got this guy, which is just a little more blue than this one, like a little more light blue. Right there, is that blue green. I just think they all play so nicely together that I can like mix. I like, yeah, that's the whole reason I got them. I'm, I'm to be honest. Oh, we're 50 50 right now. Neck and neck. So, I, there, we've got that so everybody can see it. I'm going to pull in the. Um, here, real quick, we'll pull out these uh, Statler Norrises so everybody can see. This one would be like a similar. A little more green in there. I'm gonna pull this one. I think this one's really green. Yeah, it is. Forget that guy. I'm not gonna be using that. I mean, if we're using the whole stash, too, does that mean the Prisma colors come out? <laughs> Do I get out the Mandalamas? Everybody's favorite. <laughs> the, the Grayolas. <laughs> How to get out my giant color, uh, my giant uh, swatch papers. <laughs> I'm feeling the 
trail is that the bundle lovers are coming out. But, uh, basically, it's just because it's true. The Statlers are actually, okay, so I could go in while we're waiting, and I'm still giving everybody time to vote. We are tied 50-50 right now. So, uh, with the Statlers, how I use those, I have found that they work pretty neatly as like a colored blender, which kind of a strange combination of things there, but when you use it rather than using a, like this blender right here, you know, you see it's a colorless blender. Using this, it has a little bit of tone, using this has a little bit of tone in it. And it creates some neat, like, color combinations because then you can layer this little bit of translucent color on top. The amount of color laid down, I've got, I've got a picture in my Christmas book that's, like, really, really old. Um, I think I did it, yeah, it was been 2016 that I did that one. Um, that, it is a... I did it all using the Statlers and it was just a little un underwhelmed because I like intense color. If you don't like intense color, Statlers are great. So, okay. We're still sitting at 50-50. We need a tie break. Right? Let you guys vote for just a few more minutes. Oh, we need to... No, it's not low. Okay, just, just the way the thing's looking on my monitor for a second. Okay, I'm gonna warm up my coffee. I'm gonna come right back. Voting is still up. So we need the salt. The salt. get for taking down my I swapped the studio for recording the other video and so I had to take everything off my desk okay got these ocean colors roughly in ocean 15 18 52 
let's start, I'm going to start thinking about my color placement. Throw this back. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four layers deep here. Five pencils. I need a middle color. It's going to be really subtle. The whole point is I want it to feel like these are receding and coming out. I think that'll work. One thing is this is like really, really simple coloring. I want to get them nice and sharp. Or sorry, no, light blue, I want azure.
we go. Look at that. Can you kind of see how it goes darker to lighter? fun as you're adding color on a piece and it starts to come to life.
use this the same one we used out here. I know out there you couldn't see it a whole lot. But now you're gonna get to see it. <laughs> She's gonna come out and go, whoosh. Big time. Hi Lottie. Lottie is deciding to bark right now as well. One, it's slightly different, not a lot. I'm also trying to press a little harder on the edge and then go lighter as we go in. I don't know how well this is going to do. <laughs> I really don't.
sharpen this to get a really good point. I'm not using anything else here. Still rotating, so we're getting like even more variation.
feeling like it's all a little too feeling a little muddy. Like all the colors are blending a little too much together. If that makes sense. gonna do
Like me. got a little more definition coming in now. Still very blue, but it's not sitting as flat. I'm going to do this line up here in the darker. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That, I think, just added a lot. Okay, so that is that color scheme there. Sitting at 50 50 on the Kohenor or whole stash. <laughs> like ultra indecisive. <laughs> Please vote in the poll.
Mr. Shirley. Got my coffee refilled. Welcome in, everyone. Ooh, Conor only is now winning. Okay. I was curious how this one was going to go. Gotta be right back screen because the camera's dead. So. Anyway, I hope everybody is having a lovely Saturday morning. Travis, I hope you are having a great morning.
the light blue. Now for sky blue. And now the ice blue.
looking at these, but I would be happy if it was just all dark. It would help with some of the muddiness. I'm trying to do these three colors. Like, it looks cool here. But then when I look here, it's Looking up here, these look great. Like this part right here, everything's really defined, colors popping, I really like it. Over here, not so much. So I think I'm just going to have to go with the darker shade there and keep it simple so that We'll get enough contrast where it's not just going muddy. So Now 
I'm going to go in with the azure, and it's going to be just the azure. Cat, how are you today? I'm fixing something because I wasn't happy with the way it was looking.
little more definition now. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, sorry. I was not looking at chat. I asked you a question and then I got back to getting this fixed. Yeah, more definition there. It doesn't look as muddy. It's still subtle. Like, it's not supposed to be a focal point, it's a supporting character. But I am a lot happier with this now. <laughs> also simplifies it. It means that all of this will now be one color, which is nice, instead of being four. So let's move back up here now.
there were other colors underneath but there are you can see a little bit of variation because it's layered but it's coming together I'm gonna warm up my coffee I'll be right back and uh, we'll throw in the tritone on this guy so ah! I cannot drop it on the carpet where did you go pencil that's all the way out there I'm gonna have to get up to get it anyway so be right back
Okay, coming back now. Dog is back in. My coffee is warmed up. Okay. Let's go with it. Oh, I record. I was recording during that. Oops. Ah, error. Hold on. go. There we go. Now we're back. Going in with the tritone here, this is ocean. Dog is now downstairs barking. I assume she's playing with Bug. a spot where these three just lined up, right? And got three different shades. It's, there's, it's subtle, but this one was lighter, medium, and then darker kind of came through right there. So that's kind of neat to see the color coming through.
white because I want a little more dimension. I know the white makes it a little milky, uh, but I'm going to use that because I don't A little bit more around the edges, just deepen the color, but yeah, this is a little bit less murky than it was. We also need to put the measure around the edge.
spray too much on these because these are so small for me. There we go. Now let's fix the azure around the edge. <laughs> I'm glad. It's fun to be back. I um, had a wonderful weekend last week. Uh, I was with my family. My father retired. And so all of my family. So I am the oldest of six kids. Uh, we all got together. All, all the grandkids. And now we're in a cabin in Gatlinburg last weekend. So we a nice long weekend together. So it was great. Got to be together. Got to hang out. We had not all been together since 2019, so I think about three years. So great to get to get, get to be together. Had great weather. I mean, it's a little rainy up there, but that's pretty normal this time of year. Wasn't too hot. Wasn't too cold.
Okay, I'm going to a bad mood.
go. Pull that put in. I'm gonna need to swap my battery really, really quick. I will be right back. Oh, my camera is like leaking red at me. Back with the battery switch, dog taken care of, all those things. I even refilled my coffee because I was like, we're gonna take a break. This will be the last break that I will take the stream, so might as well make it count, right? Okay. You're getting ready to go in now with the tri turn. Well, I'm getting ready to go in. I don't know what you're doing. So, got it ready here. This is ocean. I'm going to go around the edge. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit.
on to the next section just so we can get all the sections done. I'm probably going to go back to that one and touch it up later. Um, I touch up a lot. <laughs> so this is like, it's not super exciting and it doesn't make like a huge difference in like a small area, but over the whole piece doing the cleanup makes a lot, so it's not like it makes great content. So. to it a little bit um if you don't know what those two colors look like they're the middle colors on here those two and this is the two koanors on the edge so you can kind of see those so there it is i'm already using derwent's as my <laughs> um silvers as my metallics but I'm sticking inside of the Derwins because they have a blue um, and I wanted a blue metallic so to my 144 set and I pull those out too. Fill in. I should have probably made that in a Koenor 72, Koenor 144, pull stash.
And there we go. Okay, let's uh, zoom out. icy kind of I think once we get those orange koi in the middle it's really gonna start to pop so I'm looking forward to getting that in with these I will be going in um, with my azure and just like really getting that color in there making sure solid also be doing a little bit with the background color um, as I did you can see in these like right here I went around with this one to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. I'm going to be doing that on these background areas too, just to kind of fill them in a little bit more, give them a little more dimension. It'll look it'll look really cool when it's all done. So um, it will be coming. So that'll be that won't be with this. Uh, it probably won't be on stream. I'll probably be doing that just. Off, well, it'll be on camera but off stream. So anyway. I'm, just happy with the way this is slowly, slowly, slowly coming together. And don't worry, I am recording, so this will be an edited video at some point with all the colors and that I'm using and lower thirds and all of that. So it will come. So anyway, looking forward to seeing you next time. And uh, that's it for today. <laughs> so uh, I will have a gaming stream here in a little bit over on the gaming channel. It's Bethany78. It'll be on Twitch. So if you want to hop on over there, I'm shooting for around 2 o'clock with that. So I'm um, going to take a break, uh, get cleaned up, eat some lunch, switch the studio, you know, a couple of things to do here and there. And then uh, I will be live. Uh, video, new video also tomorrow. i uh, going to be up and ready to view. So, uh, be watching for that one. It's coming. Uh, I've got it set to go live like crazy early in the U.S. So uh, if you tune in tomorrow, it'll be there waiting. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. It is all. It is the unboxing from the project I did on Monday. So no stream. There hasn't even been a social media post. So it's a surprise for everybody to get to see. So anyway, I look forward to uh, your reactions with that one. And I will see you next week. Bye.